This is a story that came from one of my subscribers, Coca2005, and this is absolutely disgusting. And this is more proof that this cave beast can never, ever, ever be civilized. Okay, he's been in this world for 6,000 years, and we still see them doing some of the most heinous things on this planet. Mystery Pooper at New Jersey High School's track turned out to be the superintendent, police say. I think we all know this beast will never be civilized, ever, never. It just can't be done. The Kenilworth School Superintendent charged Monday with defecating in public. And he was going out there every day, y'all. Every day he was going out to that football field and taking a dump. You know, don't they have bathrooms in high schools? They usually have plenty of bathrooms everywhere. <sighs> wow. He was caught in the act at Homedell High School football field and track after surveillance was set up due to human feces being found on a daily basis, police said. His ass got caught on tape, taking a dump out there where those kids were exercising. You, you know, they always take you out to the, the track and field and you go out there and exercise during gym. And he took his dumps out there where the kids would be out there during gym and also, you know, football practice and baseball practice and soccer practice. And he got his human shit out there. Okay, Thomas Tramegliani, I think, 42, lives about three miles from Homedale High School in neighboring Aberdeen. He was running the track on the athletic field at 5 a.m. before he was arrested. So he was out there before the school was open. So I guess it was hard for people to catch him at that hour because they said it was out there every single day. So he must have been arriving on that field every single day at 5.50 a.m. when nobody was at the school to even catch him. Track coaches and staff at Homedell High School told the district resource officer that they found human species on or near the football field and track daily. Homedell police said in a statement Thursday, school employees began monitoring the area and on Monday police arrested Tramaglini at 5.50 a.m. So they went out there at the time he was using the field <laughs> and caught him in the act. And that was uh, Monday, according to Sergeant Theodore, whatever. Uh, okay, moving on. So they charged him with lewdness and littering. He is due in municipal court in Homedale at 8.50 a.m. Monday to answer the charges. How embarrassing. The person that actually heads the school is the one that went out there taking a dump. Like I said, he <laughs> had access to the school if he was the superintendent, which means he could have easily walked in there to use the bathroom. Usually if you're a superintendent, you got keys to these schools and everything. All right, so he took a paid leave, which I don't know why they allowed that because of the nature of what he did. He shouldn't get any kind of paid leave. And his salary was $147,504 a year. So he risked that job just to do some caveman shit outside. Come on now. Leave can only be unpaid if a person is indicted or faces tenure charges, the district said.
citing state law. Okay, so they have replaced him with another guy by the name of Scott Taylor, who resigned in August 2015. He was, okay, so he was serving as chief academic officer in Keensburg and also held positions at Plumstead and Freehold Borough. So he, he was in the position of superintendent since 2015, this, this shit. I don't know what what do we call him? You know the little shit stain uh, Neanderthal. I don't know. <laughs> he also did part time lectures at Rutgers Graduate School of Education, according to public records. A record spokesman didn't immediately comment on the charges. How embarrassing! No one answered the door at. Tramelini's home on Thursday. I guess he didn't. If he was smart, he need to go somewhere and lay low. How embarrassing. The whole world now knows that you went and took a dump on the football field every day at a school that had plenty of bathrooms. You know, this beast right here. This is just too embarrassing. You know, they'll just force him, probably force him to uh, resign. And, you know, people like this, ladies and gentlemen, he'll have another job in a different district in no time. People that may not be aware of this story. He'll just go somewhere or even another state and take on a job as a superintendent. You know, it's just like cops whenever they kill one of us. And even when they fire them, they just go to another police department, just like Betty Shelby. And this dude will do the same thing. We're still in the world of white privilege. But please tell me what you think of this cave pooper. <laughs> I just can't imagine somebody, you know, that's just like, I got bathrooms in my house, but I'm going to go outside and just take a poop in my backyard. I mean, <laughs> I just, <laughs> woo, you can't civilize these people, y'all. There is no point in trying to reason with them, talk to them, try to make them understand. You can see by many of their actions, these monsters cannot be civilized. Back in, I believe, 2014, there was another story. And it was a guy that was going around taking shits in people's driveways. People would wake up in the morning and they'd be a pile of shit, human shit, in their driveway. And it was also a white man doing it. He would do it late at night when most people would not be outside. And he would just randomly take a shit in people's um, driveways. And they caught them the same way. They had to set up surveillance. Someone set up surveillance in, and they put the, faced the camera in their rear window of their car. And this fool came by, pulled his pants down <laughs> and caught the whole thing. But that's an uncivilized cave beast for you. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And this will only be shown on Black Junction TV. Peace, family.